I know Nets fans thought everything was going to be great. Y'all had KD, y'all had Kyrie, y'all had Harden. What, like a year ago? Yeah, now they're all gone. But what if they never broke up? I mean, you have Cam Thomas starting to break out. Nick Claxton's been really good. Y'all picked up TJ Warren. So what would happen if this team never broke up? Well, first of all, the Mavs and the Sixers, yeah, they'd be kind of cooked. But besides that, we're going to see how this trio can do. Year number one, they were all all all-stars. I mean, of course, it's KD, it's Kyrie, and it's Harden. But surprisingly, James Harden was the guy who was the starter out of all three. Kevin Durant was coming off the bench for Team Giannis, and so was Kyrie Irving, while James Harden was starting for Team Luka. And by the end of the season, even with all these all-stars, we weren't doing very well. I'm sure Luka was carrying the Mavs and did better than we ended up doing with 390-plus overalls. Also, Walker Kessler won Rookie of the Year. That's kind of new. Tyler Hero, Sixth Man of the Year, MB DPOY, and Sangoon, Most Improved Player. We had two guys on the All-NBA third team, James Harden and Kevin Durant, but obviously that wasn't enough because we were a garbage team. Like, for the standards I had, I thought we were really about to be solid because not only do we have KD, Kyrie, and Harden, Nick Claxton is no slouch either. Bro's out there getting boxed. He can't shoot free throws, but like besides that, he can do a lot of other stuff, so he's good at basketball. And looking at the player stats, our guys were out there getting theirs, but they're just, I guess, I don't know what happened. Like, I'm really confused. I feel like the supporting cast was okay enough, and Nick Claxton, he was better than okay. He was good. So what happened? And we can't even make it out of the play-in. We're playing frauds are you serious Kyrie 16 points 6 for 17 16 points on 17 shots is wild you're Kyrie Irving and now everybody's falling off it's not looking good I mean Nick Claxton he's cooking he's an 87 overall but everybody else is falling off James Harden still an all-star starter even with the decrease in overall KD is also an all-star and Kyrie Irving this year is nowhere to be found we're 28 and 25 so we're kind of like in the middle of the pack I guess you could say well not really we were a little better than that but uh, yeah it was kind of still a mid-season we did not win that many games I think we kind of got lucky with our conference being garbage as we finished as the fourth seed with a little over 40 wins on the season not a bad season don't get me wrong but like I said it's just the standards that you have when you have KD Kyrie and Harden on the team and not only that injuries are off everybody should be good y'all should just be out there hooping I feel like this team should be able to easily win 60 games but the 2k sim engine has other plans. We win 44 games on the season, but we're still in here as the fourth seed against the young Detroit Pistons, so with all these veteran guys, we should be able to get a dub. I mean, their roster's cool, but they might be a year or two away. Our team's a year or two away from everybody being washed, but for now, I feel like we got them in this series. Looking at the player stats for the season, it was KD, it was Kyrie, it was Harden, and Cam Thomas is out there getting his as well. Nick Claxton, he gave you almost a double-double. Some solid production from the supporting cast. We were starting Stanley Johnson at the four, and as you can see, the offensive game was not there at all for Stanley, but hey, he tried. He plays good defense and stuff, and we end up losing the first two not two three four yeah we got swept bro we got swept by the young Detroit Pistons like how does this happen James Harden steps up his play in the playoffs Kyrie kind of plays mid in the playoffs and KD plays all right in the playoffs so how does this happen Cam Thomas was out there getting his you know what just trade everybody Cam Thomas is the Cam Thomas show the Nets were right to get rid of everybody because look at what's going on now and we also got a guy named Eric Riley with a pick in the draft so that's cool I guess maybe he can save the franchise because right now we most definitely need some help 44 wins once again on the season basically a repeat of last year hopefully this year we can at least get out of the first round and now dame's coming off the bench in portland bro will never run from the grind even if they put him off the bench jimmy adams is an 87 overall at 20 years old maybe that's who they bench dame for he was kind of going crazy in portland but you still got Damian Lillard. I mean, it's Dame. Like, he never ran from the grind, and this is how y'all repay him? That's wild. I'm not going to lie to you, but let's go ahead and let's get into the playoffs where we're in the play-in tournament this year. But first of all, let's see what's going on in Portland because I'm low-key confused as to how Dame, he's the best player on the team, yet he's coming off the bench. They got a lot of guards over there. 44 wins this year was only good enough for the play-in, while last year it was good enough for the four seed. But let's see what our guys were doing. Did some Somebody sell this year is that why we ended up losing I mean not really Harden's getting kind of old out there he 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 does end up falling off in a lot of these sims so I'm kind of concerned about that and Stan
Stanley Johnson, he was doing his thing again. I mean, the efficiency, man. Stanley, come on, bro. I know Stanley's solid. Like, I feel like 2K is kind of underrating him. And, yeah, we're, we're losing in the play-in tournament again. This is just, this is horrible. This is horrible. This has gone, like, as bad as it possibly could. But a couple years down the line, I got a little plan in my back pocket that can hopefully help us out as we try to improve because, like, we lost Nick Claxton now, too. And I, I don't know what's going to happen from here. James Harden is an 82 overall. An 82. Are you serious, 2K? Do y'all really think he's going to be an 82 at 35? Maybe he will be, but, like, y'all are destroying him in this sim. Like, his overall is just dropping and dropping and dropping. And Alperen Sengun is now the sixth man of the year. He's collecting awards. He got that most improved, the sixth man. Bronze in Washington now. And also, if you're still watching, you might as well subscribe to the channel. You can always unsubscribe later if you're like, oh, this dude's content sucks. And this year, we're nowhere to be found. 31 wins? Are you serious? KD, Kyrie, Harden, 31. Wait, maybe not Kyrie, because apparently we traded Kyrie Irving for Christian Wood. I mean, no disrespect to Christian Wood, but we really did that. And he went to the Mavericks, I guess. The Mavs saw the script and were like, we want Kyrie, and they went out and got him. But unfortunately, yeah, Kyrie's coming back to our squad. And now James Harden is only an 80 overall. And that's why I, I decided, you know what? These guys are going to have to play on near minimum contracts I gave them like around what the lowest you could give them was because we need to get them some help they're not you know whatever they're doing it's not cutting it so they're gonna have to play on these lower deals so that way hopefully we can sign a supporting cast and make it even more of a super team because obviously so far this super team isn't working out enough Josh Giddy, he's the MVP. Markel Fultz always hoops in the 2K sim. He is coded in these. And usually he's on minimum contracts, kind of jumping around from team to team. But regardless of where he's at, trust me, he's getting buckets in 2K, all right? Let's go ahead and let's get into the playoffs where, yeah, we're in the play-in tournament once again. Kyrie Irving is leading the team in scoring. James Harden really fell off 12 points per game. Are you serious, James? I mean, a little over seven assists is cool, but, like, you're James Harden if you don't do the a step back, jump into people, get some fouls. Like, James, you can get more buckets. We're in the play-in, and we finally make it out, I guess. We're facing the Hornets, who I think won the championship last year. So not exactly the best first-round opponent, but we're the seventh seed. So you kind of get what you end up playing for in the regular season in the play-in. Basically, we didn't win enough games, so now we got to face a really good team in the first round. And that's really hurting us because, yeah, they cooked us. We get swept by the Charlotte Hornets. But hopefully with our guys playing on cheaper deals, we can go ahead ahead and try to sign some good players in free agency. Lonzo is the conference MVP and wins the finals MVP. Hopefully Lonzo can get healthy. I don't know what's going on with him. I really hope he can get better because I'm starting to get really concerned about what's going on with his injuries. We used our cap space to go out and sign Kyle Kuzma and Jared Allen. I like both of those pickups. I think that they should both be able to really help us. We've got a solid amount of depth now. There's no excuses. Also, Jared Allen is back in Brooklyn now, but there's no excuses. We got to go out there and cook this year. And what did I say about Markel? He's on a new team, still winning that sixth man of the year award. And let's go ahead and let's get into the playoffs. Y'all already know our guys don't win anything. No all NBA, no all defense. We're just horrible at this point. But I feel like we've got a solid supporting cast now. No excuses at all. We're in here as a four seed. It's going to be the battle of the New York teams. We got Brooklyn versus the Knicks. So let's see what goes down. And Kyrie's having a really good season. Also, Blake Wesley was out there getting buckets. Whereas KD, you still got a high overall, bro. If you don't put the ball in the basket some more, you got a long wingspan. Just shoot over him, all right? And then Jared Allen, he was doing his thing. Kyle Kuzma, he gets more buckets in real life. I don't know why he's not scoring more for us, but we had a lot of guys out there scoring, so it's okay. Almost a 50-win season, much better than what we've been used to in the past. But let's get into this first-round matchup, Knicks versus Nets. It's a back-and-forth series tied up at two apiece. We end up taking game five. They take game six, setting up a winner go home game seven, where in the final minutes, we're able to pull away and win the matchup. KD with 27, Kyrie with 23. The dynamic duo is able to go out there and do their thing. James Harden's more of a cheerleader at this point. No disrespect, but 2K absolutely destroyed his overall. KD and Kyrie, though, are turning it up for the playoffs. RJ, you tried, just wasn't enough. We're moving on to the second round against the eight-seeded Wizards who upset the one seed.
I mean, they just beat the one seed, but we'd probably rather face them than the one seeded Raptors as we take game one, but they take the next couple games and it's not looking good, but we take a few more in a row, so maybe we have a chance as we head into game seven. We're going to have to fight for everything in this playoff run. We came in here as a four seed, and in the final minutes of this game, we lose. We got off to a really rough start in the first half, and that kind of sold us. The first quarter is really what cooked us. They almost scored 50 in that one. Katie and Kyrie both had good playoff runs, but we just weren't able to get it done. Really unfortunate, to be honest. I thought this could have been a good year for us with Kuzma, with Jared Allen, with KD, with Kyrie. Even Cam Thomas was out there doing his thing, but that's just not enough as the Rockets win the championship and our guys continue to get old. And speaking of old, James Harden did end up retiring. I overrode KD's retirement, so this is probably going to be his last season. This is essentially our last dance, and our guys kind of turned it up for 48 wins is solid, especially based on our standards. Luka is playing for the Clippers now, by the way. He's still getting his MVPs. Don't get it twisted. We have no all-NBA players, no all-defensive players. What else is new? Let's go ahead and let's get into the playoffs. It's basically a repeat of last year. Toronto's the one seed. We're facing New York in the first round. Let's see if we can get out of this first round once again and move on. Kyrie has another good year. He's old, but he's still getting his buckets. The cross-cross, tween-tween, the layup package, it never expires. Kyrie still does his thing. Jared Allen gets his double-double. Kyle Kuzma, please score the basketball more. Denny of Dia, he he was playing basketball as well. But let's go ahead and let's see what we can do in this first round series. The Knicks, yeah, they're trying to get revenge and they get it. They win in five games. Like, are you serious? We had a better year than last year, I believe, in the wins column, but ultimately it doesn't lead to anything for us. Also, Jimmy Adams, you're 24 years old and a 96 overall? What's going on in Toronto? What y'all got going on in Toronto? Like, how do, how do they build these teams with really good players? And then we have really good players, but we don't win anything. Like, like, look at the Raptors. They're insane, by the way. They got Jimmy. They got Anthony Edwards. They got DeJounte Murray. They got a squad for sure. But, like, yo, our super team couldn't win anything. And, by the way, Jimmy Adams, he has a 96 potential. That's absolutely ridiculous. I just wanted to check on that. But Anthony Edwards, Scotty Barnes, DeJounte Murray, and the Adams auto-generated guy, Jimmy. Yeah, I don't know how they build these teams, but they won the championship. Can we get some players like that? KD's out of here, so we'll run it back until Kyrie decides to end up retiring. Let's go ahead and let's see if maybe Kyrie can do something. That would be the 2K logic. Once all your good players are gone, yeah, now it's time to win. I feel like the Sim Engine makes no sense. It's like a little coin flip or something. But Kyrie, like I said, speaking of the Sim Engine making no sense, old man Kyrie has a great year this year, up to score a ton like how does that make any sense he's old like why but we'll take it I guess let's see if we can make it out of this first round we're up against the Chicago Bulls we're in uh, y'all heard that voice crack didn't y'all we lost by the way too in the game seven we got cooked but yeah we lose to the Chicago Bulls and Jimmy Adams he continues his reign of terror but Anthony Edwards ends up getting his finals MVP and Kyrie decides to retire you know what we'll go back for one more run I haven't had enough of just L after L after L so you know what Kyrie I'm sorry no retirement for you one more season you got one more run in you know you don't we lost in the play-in tournament but after we lost in the play-in tournament this is probably the most interesting part of the video I'm not gonna lie we went out and we saw this guy his name is Okan I'm not even gonna try the last name but he goes ahead and he is he goes ahead come on Danny lock in he is with the Utah Jazz he's a 92 overall he's 21 years old in year number three and he has a 98 potential let me know do y'all want to see a full career sim of this guy he is a center at 7-3 a two-way diming three-level score let me know if y'all want to see the career sim i downloaded the player dna if y'all want to see it hope y'all enjoyed the video have a great day be sure to like and subscribe